Okay guys, so these are assassin bugs, but the cool things about these assassin bugs, these particular type of assassin bugs actually live together in like a little colony. So right now they're here in a little enclosure. It's kind of like under a piece of tree bark, as you can see, I'll zoom out. But as we zoom in here, Give me one sec. Let me get some focus for you all. That's these guys here. So let me give you a couple cool facts and then we're gonna do a feeding. So these bugs can vary from 40 to 50 milliliters in size, different shapes and colors. The mouths of these bugs are formed for piercing and sucking the juices out of its victim body. <coughs> Excuse me, so they have a proboscis. That's that long needle-like thing in front of them. It's like a beak. Uh, their, their beak has a tube inside that allows it to transfer po po poisonous saliva. So, oh, so it's interesting. So it says these, these insects are poisonous, uh, but I know when you inject things, it's venom. So I wonder if it's actually venom or poison. So that's interesting. So uh, they can kill a cockroach in three to four seconds and a caterpillar in just about 10 seconds. So it's fairly quick. The females are the best hunters because they need more protein in their diet in order to lay eggs. These bugs not only bite, but their kiss can spread a parasite that causes disease <coughs> which can cause ma major damage to organs that lead to heart failure and even be fatal so it's probably to other bugs i think for humans it's too small but these are assassin bugs typically though they are they, so they're also called kissing bugs uh, it's because they like to bite the lips and eyes of humans while they sleep gross oh I don't know if that's a myth. I'm reading some information online, guys. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't. But anyhow, let's see some feeding of them and mm -hmm. let's see what they do. So these are some crickets. And we're going to see some, uh, some feeding of the assassin bugs. So what's interesting is I'm reading some information here. It says most bugs are plant suckers like aphids but some feed on blood, such as bed bugs. Then there's the family Red Dubia, known as assassin bugs, which use their mouth parts to eliminate potential adversaries. So they're kind of a unique bug. So their habitat, they live in the grassland forest. Oh, oh, there's some crickets there. Oh, man, so he caught it? Yeah, oh, dude, yeah, I didn't... Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. That was... Yeah, I got it right there. Oh, so we're, I was over here reading some information, guys, and this assassin bug just grabbed this cricket and injected it. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it that fast. That was quick. Wow. Wow. I wasn't, ex that kind of threw me off. I wasn't expecting uh, a kill to be that quick. Here comes another cricket. Someone took them down. Wow. Actually, let me do this for you guys here so I can show you a little better angle. There we go. All right, there we go. Perfect. Oh, man. So as you guys can see there, check that out. See that? Okay, there we go. Perfect analysis. So do you see that proboscis, that long beak-like thing that's injected into the cricket? <coughs> That injects the cricket. Now I'm not sure if it's poison or if it's venom. I was reading online that says it's a poisonous saliva, but poison is something that has to be uh, something that has to be touched. Like a frog can have poisonous skin, but a spider has venom because it injects it. Oh, there goes another cricket. Oh boy. Let's see what's gonna happen to that cricket there. Oh, he's like, I'm. A oh, that's a big one in there too. Wow, he really got that cricket. So what they do is they inject, they, oh, uh-oh, it's gonna. So they inject their prey uh, with that. One of the interesting things that I read about was that they will often sometimes use the prey after it's dead to attract other insects. So what they'll do, ooh, ooh, ooh. Feeding's going crazy over here. Whoa, I didn't realize they were this agile with hunting. Look at this one up here, guys. Oh, man. Look at that. I didn't... Look at that. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get you guys... I'm trying to focus it. It's just kind of hard because we're using a little container. Here we go. I got it. There we go. 
Look at that. So you see how he grabs its prey and then he just injects it with that venom or poison. I'm not sure what it's considered. But that is unbelievable. Wow. And that cricket's dead. So, so unlike a spider that takes a while to kick in, I mean, look, look how quick that cricket stopped moving. So that cricket is dead basically instantly. Like within a few seconds, that cricket's dead. So they must have a very, very po uh, powerful... Um, they must have a very powerful um, toxin. Let me see if I can take this off here. Try to make this better for you guys. I'm using my microphone setup. I'm trying to keep it out the way. So here we, there's the shot of this entry. So you could see that one there has the little cricket underneath him. And then there's another one that grabbed one uh, as well. So this is some of the interesting things. So their predators are going to be things like birds, bats, reptiles, maybe spiders. Apparently there's over 7,000 different types of assassin bugs. There we go. That's a good shot for you guys to see. So as you can see there, look how he has that cricket. Oh, that's a shot. Look at that, guys. Ah, uh, right there. Look at that. So you see that proboscis that's right there in that cricket. And as you can see, that cricket is not moving at all. It's not twitching. That It's instantly dead. So they just suck up their prey. And then when they're done, they probably just dispose of the husk. So it's similar to like how a spider liquefies its prey. And um, yeah, it just liquefies its prey. And it, it turns it into like a husk. So I didn't realize there's over 7,000 species of these guys. So they're mostly ambush bugs where they'll ambush, right, they'll ambush something. Whereas, as we saw there, the cricket just kind of walked into its enclosure and became its meal. Uh, and you can see here there's a little colony of them. There it is. There's the one with the cricket. I'm trying to get that one for you guys. There it is. Oh, they're so, they move so quick. Oh, there's one up here. I want to see if he'll turn around for you guys uh let me see can i move this a little yeah. yeah let me see here this one's got a good size oh there it is come on buddy be good for me on camera so here it is so this guy here as you guys can see he also has a cricket in his mouth and um yeah those are just some some, th some fun facts about this ass and bugs um, so they're notorious biters. So they have a chemical injection designed to make killing and feeding easier. Um, so it's the same proboscis that they used to inject. Also, they then use to, I guess, s soup up their, their prey. Oh man, this is too cool. I'm having too much fun doing this. And it, like I said, you can see that cricket is dead like quick. When the tarantulas were being fed, we were filming a video earlier. It took a while for the crickets to stop moving. These guys were dead within just a few seconds. So. They have a very, very powerful um, toxin. So I'm trying to find out some other fun facts about them for you guys. I'm just, I'm not a super bug expert, uh, but I was just trying to find out some other cool things about it. Um, so it's interesting. So some websites say toxic poison, but others say venom. I believe it's a venom because again, it's injecting it with something inside of its body. Uh, but these are, they're also called kissing bugs. I don't know why they're called kissing bugs, maybe because it looks like it's kissing you. Uh, but yeah, what a cool looking one. And which ones are these ones called again? These are called the witch... These are horrid assassin bugs. So these are horrid assassin bugs. Most assassin bugs do not live in, um, do not live in uh, groups. But these guys here live in like a little colony. And they all kind of hang out underneath this... Uh... Oh, look at that big one. Oh, the big one caught one too. See that big one there, guys? That's like the granddaddy. Let's see here if I can. Oh, there we go. That one is really active. I wish he would just not move so much. Well, these get pretty big. They get up to like two, three inches big. Two to three inches? Yeah. They can get that. Yeah. What are they eating at that size? Just big crickets, roaches? Bigger, yeah, bigger crickets, bigger roaches. Oh. Caterpillars. Okay. Spiders. Yeah. The only spiders? Yeah. Really? Spider's not a threat to them? I guess if it's smaller, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Just this this is the one I like, but he is so he moves so much. There we go. I want you guys to be able to kind of enjoy that imagery there. I'm trying to focus it in. It's 
filming bugs is not easy. There we go. Look at the beauty of that. Wow. It kind of. There we go. So as you guys can see there, horde assassin bugs. What a treat. What a beauty. And this is their permanent home, correct? Because they don't need much space. For now, yeah. Okay. For now. Yeah, once they get bigger, obviously, they'll need a way bigger enclosure. But right, but this is good for now. Good for now. Yeah. How, how fast do they grow? Are they pretty fast growers? Um, I've had these for about three weeks, and they've grown probably double their size. Oh, in that short of time? Yeah. Oh, so they're probably going to be big. Yeah. So you know what's cool? These are called the horde assassin bugs, right? Already, yeah. So these horde assassin bugs, these particular ones, they live in West Africa, Nigeria, and Cameroon. It's the largest assassin bug species in the world. They could reach lengths of about one and a half to 1.8, almost two inches. So these guys can hit up to two inches. So, you know, like that's a good size assassin yeah, bug. Yeah. So these are the biggest, these are the biggest ones of, uh, of, the, assassin of the assassin bug uh, brood. And so what's kind of cool is uh, their bites are said to be very painful. And it says when threatened, the horde assassin bug can also spray its venom. Wow. So when these they, these full threatened, they can spray. Wow. So I didn't know that they could spray. Yeah, I know they'll let off like a really bad smell if they feel threatened. Really? Yeah. Has that ever done that with you before? Um, no, sometimes when feeding, I'll smell it here and there. But like a funky yeah. smell? Yeah. Wow, okay. So... They are venomous. That's not poison. It's venom because they're injecting it. This is really cool. So these, are, so these are going to be good sizes when they're done. But what a treat to be able to see how these guys feed. Look at that. He's got that little cricket right there. Wow, what a video. Man, it's too much fun playing with bugs, dude. I don't even want to do regular work. Just let me play with bugs all day. Oh, there we go. There's the guy. Oh yeah, all right, man. I'm gonna. I can't wait to get the upgraded stuff to be able to film. Yeah, these two are fighting for the same. Thing. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're fighting for him. Yeah. So they fight for their food. Yeah. So these two are actually fighting for a cricket, as you can see there. How do they determine the win? Oh, so yeah. how do you determine the winner? I guess he <laughs> won. Just like that, yeah. Like whoever. <laughs> Will they ever attack each other or no? I haven't seen them attack. Each they other. probably know uh, better. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that they know not to mess with each other. Yeah, and they seem pretty armored. I don't think... Uh, yeah, they could pierce each other. Yeah. Also, they might be immune to their own venom. Yeah, that too. So it's like, why, why, why risk the struggle? Mm -hmm. Man, look at that one. That is so cool. Man. How long does it take before they're done eating a cricket? Uh, I would say a couple of hours as well. Oh, really? So, Three hours, yeah. okay, and then you'll just find the dead bodies? Yeah. Man. Cool. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it.